Hey, Dove. Come here, will you? We need to talk. Yes, we do. <sighs> Where were you last night? When I woke up, you weren't by my side. I was... worried. I got very... <sighs> agitated when you disappear like that. I'm afraid of all the things that could happen to you while I'm asleep. You told me to sleep, so I did. But you should have at least honored your end of the agreement, too. You promised you would wake me up if you were distressed. <sighs> Don't lie to me. I know you were. When you came back at dawn, completely soaked by the rain, I could see you trying to hide your face. You'd been out crying the whole night. What's going on? You have to tell me. I'm not going to let you pretend everything's alright. I know how you are. Your tendency to keep to yourself. But there are times when you have to tell me things. This is one of those times. So tell me. Everything. That's not it. You're still deflecting. Maybe it's unfair for me to ask so confrontationally. Come. Let me hold you for a bit. <sighs> no, no, it's okay. Just stay like this. Cry if it helps. I'm sorry if I caused you more anguish than before, but I really do need to know how I can help. <sighs> yes, it's been getting colder. The weather's been really awful. It reminds you of the past? You mean, when I first rescued you? You were feather and bone back then. Who was your master? Not a master, but your family. They were unduly cruel to you, I take it. They... what? That's unforgivable. I never knew. I didn't think it was my place to pry, either. Dove, instead of running out into the rain, you could have taken me with you. We could have found shelter somewhere beneath some great sandbearer tree. I know how it calms you to be near the earth, to inhale its scent, 
and how he feels safer in dark tunnels of that sort. We could have headed there together. I understand that you need your time alone, but there's also a time and place to have the company of another. To have my company. You told me that I made you feel safe, so don't ever think you're burdening me. My purpose is to serve Lee, its inhabitants, and you. To protect gives me purpose. Leaving me alone and returning with a tear-streaked face you know that wounds me too. I don't want to see you like that ever again. Don't apologize. I didn't mean to make you feel bad. I just want you to understand that I love you. Cherish you more than anything. I want to be your wing, your shelter. The next time you're upset, let me fulfill my purpose, okay? Let me be there with you. I adore you, my dove, deeply. Let me bring you something warm to drink. You might get sick from being soaked like that, even though you're not entirely human. <sighs> I can make something drinkable. That's offensive. <laughs> On second thought, though, no, you're probably right. I'll just ask Vera Golden for something. I'm sure she knows a recipe that'll keep you in good health. Hmm. Being around me is bad enough for you, so we must do whatever we can to keep you well. Just wait for me here, alright? I'll be back in an instant. <laughs>